Oh. We did it! We finished Ooh, an entire done. season. We were controversial. Yes. We talked a lot of nonsense. <laughs> You know, we drank tequila. We drank tequila. We got our first sponsor ever. We did. Hobby tequila. Hobby tequila. Uh, what else did we do? We sounded a hot mess the first few episodes. Couldn't figure we, out lighting, the sound, audio, cameras. nothing. Yes. We're taking this show on the, the road. road. Yes. Check us out in Paris, France. Yeah. Check us out in Italy. We're going oh, to Bulgaria. Oh, not Bulgaria. <laughs> You're like, where's Bulgaria? Oh I'm like, where's That sounds vulgar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. And. So thank you to each and every one of you. And the six guys that listen and to us. And the six guys that listen to us and for tuning in. Woo. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, wait. Let's that that was weak. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, one, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Gotta break them. Mm. Gotta be like the Greek. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> That was good. I think I'm gonna drink the whole bottle. Ooh. <laughs> I'm like maybe like this. I'm like forget the love. That's good. That's good. So you good. See? We did it. We did. We did it. We did it. I'm drinking again. My stomach's gonna be like. Ooh. It's like raw. I was like, damn. I miss drinking. I haven't drank in a minute. Oh my god! You literally just off camera. I haven't been drinking at all. We're all. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. No, but it's like me when I said. On my show, I was like, and I gave up drinking years ago, blah, blah, blah. And then I come on this show, and I'm like, yeah, tequila. Welcome to the tequila show. <laughs> I was so like, I was not going to cheers and put it down. Okay, what was your favorite um, topic that we've done in our in our first season? Our first season, I would say this last one we just did, only because it got me so embarrassed. Oh. And, oh, does size matter? Yeah, I think that one was definitely the one because I think it was this kind of like I wanted to be so forward and like share more. And then I'm like, oh, but who's listening? And I think that to show vulnerability when you're speaking, I think that that speaks to everyone because it's like, oh, I didn't I'm not the only one that feels that way. Or there's there's <sighs> thoughts that like one thinks and they don't say. Yeah. And there's a, I and I know that like for me, sometimes it just like goes click click and it goes out and I'm like oh I just said that what yeah so I think that was one of them for me how about you I think um even though the quality wasn't fantastic or whatever talking yeah. about the prayer the thing that kind of propelled us to where we are yes and yes. even to do this show it's like you know I almost wish we, we could almost in season two do kind of a, a recap of of that in some way because it is such a strong message that if everybody just listens to that one episode, it can absolutely change their life, their marriage, That's and true. everything. And so to me, it's still my favorite, even though we were a little bit of a hot mess. It was like episode two or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so what do we say? What do we say to women who are thinking, I wish I could start my own podcast? What would I say to them? I think that they should. I think that, you know, we all have value and I think that people seek us no matter who you are. There's always someone that is knocking on your door asking for advice. And I think that, you know, if you can kind of help one person or two people or whoever it is that are listening and you could be that word of advice, like why not? Yeah. You know, if, if you're going to, I think like there's a saying that, and I love the saying, it says lead people better than you found them. Yes. And so if you can lead with, with that mindset of saying, leave people better than you find them yep. or than you found them, I think that, you know, do it. But if you're going to be, you know, and, and if you, if you feel like you need to tell people like you better break his car window, yeah. you better go in the <laughs> house, you guy. better do yeah. this. I mean, yeah. I'm sure you're going to find an audience. Um, I just, I just do feel that we, we as human beings have the ability to give good and, and receive good and just kind of be like, you know, share yes. the message. So I feel that, yeah, if you feel that you want to go out there and start your podcast, I think you should do it. Yeah, I can definitely say that, um, when I launched my podcast on my own, the Rachel Impact podcast, I did talk about my marriage and the divorce process and. There was, they were so popular, the episodes, that I knew, though, personally, I didn't have 500 episodes of that in me because I was simply sharing what had actually happened to me. It wasn't like random scenarios like right. we do here. 
and then I knew that I really wanted to talk about business and that's right. really where I feel like I have a bottomless well of mm-hmm. wealth of information to give ladies in order to help them. So when Delia came to me and was like, look, I know you're doing your show and you're doing so well. And what if we did one? What if we did one, but just about like marriage, divorce, relationships, stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? It took me a minute to go, can I even physically do this? And what does that look like having right. this show? And now I'm going to have this show and now I'm going to, it's like I'm yeah, all over the place. Yeah. So it was a little bit tough, but then as the more we spoke about it, I knew that it there was value. I knew yeah. that together we could have 500 episodes. Like right. I knew for sure, and it would be fun. And so yeah. my advice and to you- And we never stop laughing. Yeah, we're it's, always laughing and having a good time. It's never like a dull moment. So my advice to any of you that are like, gosh, you know, if you feel inspired to start your own show, look at our episode one, it's a hot mess. We looked up recently, I sent Delia, Joe Rogan's episode one. Oh my one. gosh, yes. You know, and so it's scary and it's awkward, even with a friend okay and I did it by myself and I did it with a friend both ways are worth it if you feel that you want to give to the world right right it is so worth it but you got to be authentic to yourself exactly I think there's no greater gift than the gift of someone saying thank you I needed that today and I think that that solidifies what you are doing and why you are doing it and everyone has their own life experiences and we always, I never think why me, I just know no. there's a reason. I mean, there's yeah. a reason why it was me. And so, but if I can be that voice of reason to say, hey, it's okay, let's pick up the broken pieces and let's continue trotting on this path of life. Yeah. And if someone nudges me and says, I really needed to hear the podcast today, I don't even know who is or isn't listening. Yeah. yeah. I just, I may confuse some people and be like, that girl is that <laughs> shit crazy. And I probably am. Yeah. But for the people that, that messaged me to say thank you. I am just yes. very, very grateful. And I'm just like, okay, so we're doing good, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, Rachel's so funny. Yeah. And I'm like, she is funny, huh? I know. <laughs> I'm like, your friend's like hilarious. She cracks me up. I'm like, yeah. I th- I th- and what's I- funny is for us, I feel like I'm like the voice of reason and then she's the funny one and yet to the world because I get the same thing they're like yeah. you're freaking funny on that yeah, show and yeah. I'm like I'm funny and they're like and she makes good points too like and then I'm like yeah she does so it's like we what well, we kind of perceive here we balance and synergy. what we think we're bringing to the table it's so much bigger than that and the same thing's going to happen with you if you decide but those of you that are just watching going this is crazy maybe you know us and you're like how this all happened what yeah. in the world like it's so good like we stuck to it we made a commitment we did through a pandemic and yes. we were like let's just do it let's just go let's, let's just, just do go. it and, let's just and do you it. know what I, I have to share with you guys another another um, thought really quick I know that you know at the very beginning with with what Rachel uh, I'm in a second what Rachel said about the prayer um, and that's basically how if you guys have heard us or followed you know our story then you would know that you know through the prayer I found everything that I was supposed to find from the the additional phone to everything that I ever questioned was all in that very phone but that was through my prayer yeah point is I get into a relationship with someone and I felt something was off I start this prayer again right and you know I always say be careful what you wish for because it may come true and yes God answers your prayers but the devil also hears oh, it yeah. right so only if you're going to pray for something and you're ready to receive it, then you should, you know, kind of proceed with that prayer. So going back to Rachel's point, I start this prayer with this new person I start dating and everything is forthcoming from the person's name to the additional things that I needed to see in here. And, you know, I just, it's pretty mind boggling if you're not a person of faith, if you're not a person of Christ, if you're not a person of any of those things, like really our message is try to center, come back to center and understand we're here for a reason. And God, if you ask him, he will show you just have faith and he's going to lead you in the direction that you're supposed to be in. And so, you know, your favorite episode has changed my life for all reasons. I mean, yep. for all reasons, and and you know, it, and it is what it is. But I think that, you know, we're giving you know the tools to these people or the women or exactly. the men. There is nothing. There is nothing more powerful than a praying woman. Like hands down, I have learned I and tapped into my power in such a way. It's really God's power, but it really feels like your own. Like you feel right. powerful. Right. Like, 
uh, like anything's possible. You feel like any little instinct, little intuition that you're like, huh, it becomes loud. Right. And so you get these little like, God, something's kind of off. And no, when you're tapped into that light and that source of yours, which is God, like the volume gets turned up and you get faced with undeniable proof of things and undeniable guidance. But often we tell ourselves, oh, you know, we make excuses, but yep. it's undeniable. And yep. this journey with you, it's been super fantastic. Um, you likewise, know, likewise. I, I, I learned a lot. Nervous. Yeah. And I actually, we, and it's so funny, we do these episodes because we're like, yeah. And then it'll be weeks later that we're like going through something individually or whatever. And we're like, God, we should listen to our own podcast. And I literally like the thing that I had gone through because of the, uh, the initial prayer of, I knew something was off. I couldn't pinpoint it. And it's the volume that you're just speaking of that is like, it's turned up and, and I'm trying to bypass the noise to say, no, it's not that. And I'm trying to ignore, you know, everything that's coming at me. But point is, is that I am on this long drive home and I'm like, let me just pop, you know, like go on YouTube and just play it. Yeah. Just, you know, and I'm like, take your own advice <laughs> and i'm like listening to what oh rachel's saying God. and what i'm saying and i'm like seriously it's not that hard and honestly it's 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 those things that it's like you need to hear someone else tell you you're in yeah. the right track and you know what rather be alone than in bad company yes. oh i cannot stress uh, that enough uh. and we say that so much on the show that i was like Okay, yeah. girl, take yeah. your own advice, my take love. Take that medicine. Take that medicine. <laughs> I think one of the, the beautiful things, too, that has happened is the men who have stepped forward out of the shadows and basically have said, "It is you guys are like, this is very valuable. Like, they are learning some stuff. And Delia's had that, like, big time as A well. A few times, yeah. And let me tell you, I shared a little thing with her that, because I come from the magazine business, and so yeah. Cosmopolitan Magazine was like an iconic magazine right. for women. And I said to her, but what was interesting about the demographic, the readership demographic, it was almost 40% male readers. And I said, oh, are they gay? And they were like, no. no. Men want to understand women. They genuinely want to understand how we operate and how we think. And so they look at female content. And the fact that men are turning to our channel mm -hmm. to be like getting some insight yeah. about how women tick. That's why we say to you, we encourage you ladies to chime in drop the comments you know drop you know messages in the comments i know that it's kind of a vulnerable topic often of course that we're sharing but even if you dm us we'll read your stories and we won't give your identity because you're helping more than just yourself right. by the way right when you share with us you are helping other women who are feeling the same way right and you're also helping men be better husbands who right. have the courage to even listen to content like and this. i think it, and it, it it just goes without saying like that is really why we're here is like to help people be be, like be better become better yes. like you know if, if you see your girlfriend's crying you're gonna go get a, a, a tissue or a napkin pull her hair back and say it's gonna be okay and so this is what we're doing just on a bigger scale to say hey it's gonna be okay you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay i promise you leave and a net shall appear is what i always and say. it always is that yep. way yeah and yep. you just have to have that faith and say you know what this person taught me something. Everybody in this lifetime yep. teaches you something. And not everything that you go through is a negative experience. But it just, it's perspective. Yes, because look at we are two single women, divorcees, single moms, whatever you want to say, all these titles, right? And you might be saying, or some people might go, well, why would you take relationship advice from, from single divorced women? Because you can learn from the potholes that we fell into. There's so many mistakes that even we made or aha moments that we had now exactly. in hindsight. Yeah. Because hindsight's 2020. And so yeah. at the end of the day, we're here to kind of just share the nuggets that we've learned and picked right. up along the journey. Many of the, much of the information we we're giving on this show came with a huge price to right. us individually um, throughout our lives. Tears. Tears and, and pain. moments of pain and, and, and tears and unknowing and, yes. and so much of that that, but now we can say, but we learned something and. And we and want to you, share that with you so yes, that you can avoid yes. a lot of that. Or at least if you are in that dark moment of pain, we can be that light that says, guess what? We're you on the other side. Like yep. you just got to grow through it and you're going to turn out just fine. Just fine. You're yeah. going to be just fine. And so at the end of the day, it's been really fun to put this all together, to have a celebration, 
to know that, you know, we, we are, you know, we're kind of lining up in a way that we know where we want to, to where we want to go. And we are business women and we yep. have our businesses, but you know what, this is something that we, we feel that is important to kind of share with people because we didn't go through these life experiences for free. Just to learn the lesson ourselves, but once you to know, share you it. teach, you know. You teach and share it and yes. say, you're gonna be okay. Have the faith, just trust, like yes. you say, leap and the net will will appear yeah. and everything that you go through is a life experience nothing in life is negative it's the perspective of what it is and now when anything happens that i'm like why isn't it going my way it's like no 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 no, no. Yeah. don't cry foul there's yeah. a reason for there's this a reason. in a year you're going to be grateful that yep. you're going through this and yep. At that moment, you're not sure, but I promise you, in a year, you are going to be grateful that you're going through that hardship. Yes, it is molding you and preparing you. The Bible says, through the fire, gold is shaped and tested. You see? And so, at the end of the day, we want to do this little monologue video for you guys, for you ladies. It's kind of like a behind the scenes. It is. It's just us talking to you. <laughs> and the reason of, why of what we are. is because we're literally transitioning the YDFL, You Deserve Fresh exactly. Lettuce podcast, into something out of a hobby and into something that is solidified that's official um we're building r&d media group um yes. and again we just locked and loaded Ooh, that this week it's locked and, and loaded. everything that we build now that's the foundation and you will be seeing some really interesting moves god willing yes um but watch and be inspired because listen even we get nervous even we get scared and we have experience in yes, all facets do. of life and business and even we hit walls and go what do we do and guess what we just move we just step forward and we do it Cheers. So cheers to you, you and your dreams. Fresh. And you deserve fresh lettuce. lettuce. Woo, cheers. Uh.